What's up guys, my name is Elle and welcome to or back to the coffee shop project at home. Today we are finally getting into pour over manual brewing methods starting with the Clever Dripper. Last Friday I was touring Cuvée Coffee's Roastery and there will be a full video about that coming Saturday so subscribe down below for that. But today we're getting into this little pour over. So we're going to start by unboxing it and showing you everything that is inside. So when you open up this box you're going to get four things. You're going to get the actual craft where the coffee is going to brew, a lid to insulate that during the brewing time, a little plate to put underneath the craft while you're waiting so that it doesn't drip or spill anywhere, and then finally number four coffee filters to seep the coffee in. Then after the coffee is set, you pick it up, pour it over the cup, and it goes right in. It's so cool. Let's jump into it. So before you actually brew the coffee, you need to wet the filter down. So we're going to take off the lid and we're going to open up the filter and put it in there. And then we're going to rinse it out with boiling water. It might crush a little bit. We can adjust that in a minute. So it's in there. We're gonna touch it up. And now I'm gonna pour it out and then we're gonna put the grounds in. I've pre-measured everything because that's not as interesting for you guys to watch, but for this recipe and this specific pour over, you're going to need 20 grams of coffee of your choice. I am using the Stella Cometa Rose from Cube Coffee. And then you're going to need 300 milliliters of like slightly cooled boiling water. We needed boiling water to wet down the filter and now just a tad cooler. So now we're going to start the brewing process by pouring our grounds into the bottom of the craft. So you can see it's kind of all in the bottom there. And now we're going to pour the water on top in a swirling motion. Sizzle is going to be good. And now that we've put the water and the coffee in, pop the lid on, we're going to wait four minutes to let it brew and then do our final pour. Okay, so our four minutes are up and it is finally time to pour our coffee. So we have our clever dripper and we have this cup. I wish it was a clear mug, but it is a Texas mug. So, you know, when you get all the cuvee, maybe we'll have a clear one in the future. Make a cooler visual if you do it with a clear one. Tag me below and let me see it. But we are just going to put it down put our coffee on top and just watch it funnel out. Isn't that just kind of cool? And if you look at the top, you can see it seeping down through the filter and there's gonna be no residue because of the filter, which is fabulous, very nice and smooth. We're just gonna wait for a second and then we're gonna do a tasting. Okay, so our coffee is done seeping through the filter. You can see all of the residues there and we are gonna put it off to the side and it is time to taste. And you know that on the Coffee Shop Project, we don't say I like it anymore. We use the four principles of coffee tasting. Before we actually taste the coffee, we're gonna give it a smell and see what kind of sweetness we pick up on. So I would say initially, I think it's gonna be kind of fruity, but let's put that to the test. So it definitely has a more thick, milky body. And then I was right, it has a fruity sweetness versus a chocolatey sweetness. The acidity really hits on the back of your tongue and I really can't compare it to any other coffee. It really stands out. They describe it as a medium roast that is sweet and complex and that nails it. Well, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode of the Coffee Shop Project at Home. If you wanna check out the Clever Dripper or order any Kube coffee, I'm gonna be linking it all down below with their Instagram accounts and subscribe down below because on Thursday, we're gonna be playing with some different cold brew brewing methods and then Saturday, finally, there's going to be a tour of Cuvée Coffee's Roastery and Storefront in Austin, Texas, and I hope to see you there. Bye, guys.